Freddy's nose cow gets stuck on the tracks. Again. I might not see you anyway. My name is Charlotte Carson. I'm the postmistress here in Pebble Ridge. I'm just on my way to the courthouse, our annual town Christmas gathering. I've got a few more cards to deliver, but everybody in town's already right inside. We're going to have a feast of food and a singing and a gift exchange and, well, it's my favorite thing we do at Christmas. Say, do you have a favorite thing about holiday time? Can you tell me what they are? What are your favorite things about Christmas? Be with your family and send the cloth bringing presents. Christmas morning. <laughs> I heard a lot of people say presents, actually. <laughs> of course, you know, out here at Pebble Ridge, we don't have a whole lot of use for fancy things, but we do like giving gifts of music and storytelling and togetherness. As long as you're here, how about if I offer you a gift? I got a story to tell. That would be my gift to you. Well, it goes like this. A long time ago, in a faraway place, there was a hillside. Now on this hillside were some sheep. And of course, anywhere you find a sheep, you'll find shepherds. So there they were, watching over their flocks, because that is the shepherd's favorite thing to do. And the night was just like this one, dark and beautiful, and the sheep were grazing because that is the sheep's favorite thing to do. But all of a sudden, a bright light started shining all around them, and they didn't know what in the world was going on. But they looked up and saw a star, bigger and brighter than any star they had ever seen before. And if that wasn't exciting enough, well, the whole sky just filled up with angels, and they started singing glory and hallelujah. Now, if you've never heard an angel sing, let me tell you, oh, they can sing. Now, of course, all this commotion was making sheep. <laughs> you know, the sheep were feeling sheepish. <laughs> the shepherds were shaking their sails, too. But one of the angels said, Now, don't you be afraid. I'm here bringing you good news. This very night, right over in town, Bethlehem, there is a baby being born, and he's going to be the savior of the whole world. And the way you'll recognize him is that he'll be all wrapped up in swaddling clothes and sleeping in a manger. Do you like it? Now when the angels huh? gone on their way, the shepherds got to thinking. And they said, for all this fuss to be made over just one little baby being born, maybe we ought to go see for ourselves what it's all about. But first they went to sheep, and they said, now little sheep, we have to go over to Bethlehem, and we need you to stay right here and be good until we get back. Can you do that? And the sheep just looked up and said, bye, bye. <laughs> well, off they went, over the hill, through the valley, until they came to the town of Bethlehem, and they started looking in every inn, every hotel, every place they could think of, but they couldn't find a baby anywhere. Well, they were standing out in the street trying to decide what to do, when one smart shepherd spotted a light coming from a stable. So they all walked on over there and stepped inside, and there he was, baby Jesus. He was wrapped up in swaddling clothes, just exactly like that angel said he would be. His mom and daddy were kneeling with him. It was beautiful. But the shepherds said, now can this really be the special baby that the angels were talking about? This is a very humble beginning. But about that time, they caught sight of three wise men coming up. Not just wise men. Now, now these were powerful rulers. They were kind of men who were used to having everybody bow down to them. But do you know what they were doing? They were bowing down to the baby. And they brought him gifts. Gold and frankincense and myrrh. Looks like he's dead. Gifts no. for the baby Jesus, just like the ones we gave today. Look at those. Do you know why we like to give each other gifts and presents at Christmas time? 
Yes, yeah. help us remember that night long ago, long ago yeah. when God gave us the gift of the sun. You know what's even more amazing? That baby grew up to be a man who would offer you and me the gift of eternal life. Now that is the most priceless gift of all. Well, folks, that's my story. What you think? <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Oh, I hear the piano warming up inside. I don't want to miss the singing. And I see a light waving up ahead. That must be Conrad and Robert made his progress. We're getting your train on its way. You know, these Christmas cards, they only come around one time a year, but I think it's up to us to keep the Christmas spirit going all the rest of the year through. So you remember to be kind to everybody you meet while you're traveling along your journey. And come back and see us any old time. Everybody here at Pebble Ridge loves you. But God loves best. Don't you forget that. I suppose there's one other thing I ought to say before you go. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Bye-bye! 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 Bye-bye!